I'm going to be talking about how to watch a replay. It's one of those things where a lot of people have trouble kind of deciding, figuring out, you know, what they did wrong after you know, a tough loss or even even after a victory, looking for things to improve, something that I definitely think more people should work on, more people should know how to do it. So this replay was sent to me by a member of the Terran Forums. His name is Dubstep. He is a I believe a di he's a, yes, he is a diamond level Terran player and he had played a very, very tough game against another Diamond Protoss player, and he ended up losing fairly late into the game. And, you know, he posted on the thread, and it was like, I don't know why I lost this game. So do you want to cast it? Do you want to explain, you know, what you look for in a replay, and then, you know, what I might have done wrong? So I'm going to start this game out. We have Dubstep spawning in the top position on Scrap Station, one of those maps that I am particularly not a fan of. But can be a very good map um, for Terran, especially because you can abuse you can abuse this island expansion as well as all the space behind the back of his base. Definitely something you could look forward to if you are a Terran player. Spawning in the bottom position, we have Four Ire. He is the red Protoss player. A very impressive player as I have seen. Gonna minimize that real fast. There we go, perfect. Everything's working as intended so far. So, I guess what I'm gonna look at First off, the first thing I look for when I watch a replay is just saying, you know, is everything on time? Does your build look tight? Stuff like that is very easy to fix. That's, you know, the first thing you're going to pick up. You know, if you're watching your replay and you see, oh, hey, you know, I just didn't build that second supply depot and got supply locked for like 20 seconds, that, you know, that's a big contributor to the, you know, to how the game turned out. So, going to be checking that with Dubstep. Also, another thing that I look for very early in the game is just, was he scouting? Were you properly responding to what you saw. So, as you can see, for Ire doing a very early scout. Not terribly, terribly early because the rush distance is so far, he'll have plenty of time to react to anything Dubstep may be doing. You know, a very, very early aggressive build, getting extra barracks, stuff like that. But Dubstep has not scouted yet, so he doesn't really know what's going on. We see the Chrono Boost being saved up on this Nexus, almost at 50 for 2, so he could potentially Chrono Boost out a first very early Zealot. Here comes the Scouting SEV for Dubstep. Very, very good timing. You know, about when you'll see Protoss either drop their second gate if they're going to Zealot Rush, or the Cybernetics Corp if they decide to go for that early, early Stalker. We also see the gas going down, so we're looking very standard here from Dubstep so far. Nothing, you know, out of the ordinary, looking bad. Orbital Command right on time, so that's not not a big problem obviously he is a diamond level player he's pretty darn good at what he does see the simulator going down from four ire so we are actually not going to see a very fast cyber core he is building those extra probes so definitely not not big on the early aggression again these are both fairly strong players here we go here's a cyber next core coming down we're not going to see a super fast docker so dubstep will be able to get a fairly good scout inside the base which means as I was talking about earlier, him looking, you know, and seeing what the timing of the Cybernetics Core, stuff like that, is going to give him a really good idea of what he needs to be doing. Going back to his base, he's getting the Marauder, as well as some upgrade. It looks like he's going to go straight for Stim, foregoing the Concussive Shell. It is a interesting decision, a, one of those choices where I can't say it's right or wrong. Personally, I like Stim Pack much better than Concussive Shell, but because he is going to be doing a 3 racks build, as you can see by the second barrack coming down here very quickly, He's going to really want that Concussive Shell to maximize the Marauder's effectiveness against Protoss units, especially the Zealot. As we can see here, Warp Gate's on the way for 4 Ire, as well as the first Stalker being Chrono Boosted out. We see the second Gas coming down, and actually Dubstep has the SCP in position, so we will be able to scout that and see that we are going to see a more tech-heavy route here for for Ire. We're not going to see a 4 Gate, most likely. However, 3 Gate Robo has become a very popular build, which is what I assume we'll be seeing. Here comes a 3rd Gateway, but not a 4th, so definitely almost positive we're going to see a uh, 3 Gate Robo here. The Immortal Pushes are very, very popular. It also allows them to, you know, counter the Marauders that we're seeing a lot of here from Dubstep, as well as Stimpak is on the way, so I like this build so far. Everything is looking good. He's got a clear, defined plan, something he's looking forward to doing. Nothing too terrible here. Um, we're getting around that time where he needs to be starting to save a little money for an expansion, however. Um, about six to seven minutes is really when you want that expansion to be down. So, for Ire, oop, 
got some money saved up. Looks like this probe is actually going to go expand right now. So first thing I note when I look at the replay, looking at you know stuff that could be scouted, hopefully by Dubstep. He isn't sending an SCV, not checking out to see what's going on. So that expansion is going to go down for Ferrara. And that stalker is actually caught way out of position. He is checking Dubstep's expansion because he knows it is about that time when it needs to be going down. So we're actually seeing a two racks push, so not quite as effective as a three racks build. However, this stalker is going to be caught out of position and will be easily taken out. It is actually sandwiched between two of Dubstep's forces. Four stalker never got to fire a shot. So obviously four iron in a lot of trouble. He has one stalker out and is pooling money fairly quickly, but Luckily, Warp Gate's just now finishing for him, so he will be able to warp in some units after just 10 seconds, being very, very important here, as Dubstep picking a very good time to attack. I do like this attack timing. I'd like you guys to note that the Nexus is almost complete, meaning that all those 400 minerals that were invested have not been paid back. Very, very good time to attack here, but I'd like you to note, no concussive shells for Dubstep, and it is actually going to come back and bite him in the ass majorly in this battle right here. Protoss being able to run away. Now Dubstep needs really needs to do some guaranteed damage. So killing killing this warp gate is not guaranteed damage. I mean pylons, probes, stuff like that that's easy to kill. Even going down and getting that expansion would have been a very good decision. And actually, because he does not have the concussive shells, he's not able to slow the zealots, which is becoming very apparent as a legitimate problem. More stalkers being warped in and zealots as well. So this attack, pretty much a complete failure for Dubstep, he has done no real damage. And I think that's a big problem with this first attack he's done is, even though you know, he he attacks these you know, gateways, attacks these warp gates, but he's not doing any damage and he loses all those forces. I'd also like you to note, 4 Iyer has secured his expansion, something Dubstep needs to think about next time he needs to go check that expansion when he decides to attack. If he could have taken that out instead, or at least forced the cancel, it would have been huge. Coming back to Dubstep's base, we don't even see a command center going down yet. Um, this is worrying me. Once again, expanding is one of the next things I would look for in your build is when do you expand? It's already eight minutes. So Dubstep has missed that window of for it to really optimally expand. As you can see, 4 Iyer transferring a bunch of probes, so he's definitely going to be ahead economically. Dubstep being forced to put up bunkers now, not being able to secure his expansion, that is a big, big problem. Uh, factory going down for Metavax, I like, again, I like the build so far, it's a, it's a good strategy, but lacking the economic backing to really make it successful thus far. For Iyer, he's just going to keep jumping ahead farther and farther, actually going to check the income tabs real fast, almost doubling Dubstep's income right now. As you can see, not what you really want if you are dubstep. Getting that marine shield's a very good upgrade. It's going to make his units much harder to kill, especially you know by things like stalkers, stuff like that, that aren't great against light units. But for Iyer has been able to completely saturate this base, so that is a problem in itself. Two base Protoss is a whole lot scarier than a one base Protoss, and dubstep expanding very late. Ten minutes is he's just starting his command center. Something he would like to look at he needs to work on because that is definitely putting him behind in this game and every second that 4 Iyer is able to mine you know no pressure is being applied honestly a drop right now uh, maybe snipe this try to snipe the robo or drop into this expansion could really catapult dubstep back into the lead but instead he's bunkered up in his front he's got units not doing anything he's got all these medevacs he should be at least feigning a drop you know checking out scouting doing something because just sitting here He's allowing his opponent to get farther and farther ahead. I'd also like you to note no scans have gone down, so he does not know what is going on. We are probably going to see Colossi here very, very soon. Oh, looks like a Dark Shrine as well. Here's the scan I was talking about, so Dubstep, oops, Dubstep is paying, <laughs> he knows what he's doing, paying attention, seeing what kind of buildings we're seeing, what kind of units. Great spread here from Fort Iyer. I'd like you guys to note the uh, Templar Archives as well as the Dark Shrine hidden over on the side, but a drop over here could be very, very destructive. Snipe that pylon it would stop not only the production of these observers, but also depower the Dark Shrine as well as the Templar Archives, and maybe even pick one of them off. Those are huge key tech structures. Looks like we're seeing the Metavax. I don't know what they're doing. Moving out, scouting, I guess. Here's the observer here coming in and seeing exactly what's going on in Dubstep's base. One of those things that as a Terran player you want to do is occasionally you will have to burn a scan or make a raven. Something to clear out these observers from your base because it is giving great, great intelligence. Four for Iyer, you can see exactly you know when these SCVs are moving out. That gives them a great 
knowledge of when the expansion time is going down, but I'd like you to note almost six minutes behind the expansion is dubstep so far, and that is going to continue to be a problem throughout the game. He is just going to be behind economically, and there's no real easy way to catch up. Looking back, the Templar archives are complete. Storm has not been researched, however. Going back to dubstep space, getting danger close on some of these mineral patches, and um, again, not really doing anything with these medevacs. I'd like to see some kind of some use of them, because oh, right as I say it, we're loading up. We are going to try to see a drop. So this needed to be done earlier. Um, the pressure needed to be kept on, especially of two base protoss like that. He is scanning the inside of his base, looking for that observer, like I was saying. Very good, very very good sound of play thus far. However, the drop needed to be earlier, and hopefully, we're going to see how successful it is here momentarily. But try not to judge, you know, your games by how successful something was, because something can be a really great strategy and just not work. Scouting around the outside looking for those tech buildings. We are going to see a drop coming in right where I was telling you guys, over by this Dark Shrine, by the Templar Archives. And this could be a huge pickup if he, if he is able to cancel Storm. He's actually going straight for the Dark Shrine. He's going to stem and try to focus it down. Very good. I also like the position, not allowing the Zealots to really get in there. And he's going to try to take out the Templar Archives, but I don't think he's going to have enough stuff. It's going to be 